Hi guys, got a PS2 here which is no power. It seems very wobbly back here at the DC jack, so we're going to take it apart and see if that's the solution to fixing it. Really easy to take apart a slim PS2, just pop off the six caps and undo the six screws. Taking apart the PS2, start over on this side, it should lift easier, and then work your way across. There's kind of a clip down this end. I can require a little. Just undo the screw hole in the controller board. Yeah, you can actually see here. Cold solder joint here doesn't seem to have damage to the pad, so we'll just reflow this. This is a good repair to try if you've never soldered before or if you're new to soldering because it's a very simple, you don't even have to really add new solder, just give it plenty of flux. After that's done, you'll be able to check with the little LED if the repair has worked. Although I'm fairly confident in this case it has because that joint was completely broken. As you can see, we have power back. Okay, I don't know if you can see the case of this is quite dirty, so it might be a good time to give it a bit of a clean up before it goes back together. the console back together it's fairly straightforward make sure you have a little power button center positioned correctly because there's a switch on that to recognize when the lid is closed switch for the latest here so just make sure you're gentle putting that over so that you don't damage it Just remember when you're screwing consoles back together guys, there's no need to go crazy tight, it's only the plastic and if you go really hard on it you will break it. <laughs> 